Yeah, hi all. Just thought I'd put together a quick video uh, in regards to an electric blanket that we've been having problems with. And I know, you know, electric blankets aren't the most interesting things on the planet, um, but they turn out to be one of the most um, problem causing things on the planet. Um, basically, these are an electric throw blanket. And there's, you know, as you can see, two sides are incredibly soft. They're fantastic, like to, um, use on the couch or on top of your bed. But the problem with these blankets is they have a safety switch in them that is thrown after only a couple of months of use. And uh, you know, what's that say about the safety of the electric blanket? If the safety switch is thrown after two months of being used, then yeah, you've indeed got yourself a pretty crappy product, I believe anyway. Um, I went through the procedure of actually trying to sort out what the issue was. Um, I've opened up the controller box here to see if we can reset the safety switch, which is an absolute terrible idea. Um, but I went through with the procedure of taking off the cover, having a look. And of course, there is no visible way of resetting the safety switch. Uh, so that leads me to think that this is some type of safety suicide switch. Once it's thrown, the safety of the blanket uh, integrity, the integrity of the blanket is just completely shut down and the blanket no longer works. Um, and I'm pretty sure that would indeed be the case. After all, electric blankets are responsible for fires all over the world, uh, thousands of them, and continuing today. So it makes you wonder whether an electric blanket is even an object you'd ever want to purchase. If, um, you know, the safety switch is thrown after two months, then it's just an absolute crap product and it probably shouldn't be sold to the public ever, full stop. Uh, but anyway, after you know, I went through and inspected it, took the back off it, had a smell of it. Normally you can smell burnout components or burnout circuitry, um, anything like that. And of course there's no evidence of that in there. Um, there's a little dot here, just there, that circle there. When it's um, glowing, it indicates that the safety switch has indeed been thrown, which of course it is and yeah so the device is just not working obviously you know after checking all of that i've decided that the controller's fine it's working as it should and the safety switch is definitely working as it should um i inspected all the terminals all the connections stuff like that everything's in working order um something of interest though is i opened up this connection here which was extremely difficult to get off uh, it's basically a one-way ticket so once it's pressed back on there it's designed not to come off. Um, you can get it off with some effort, and I did manage to get it off, uh, but it took me quite some time to pry it off. Um, and like I said, it shouldn't be taken off anyway. If you have an issue with your electric blanket, take it back to the shop you got it from, especially after a couple of months. Um, they normally have a 12 month warranty on them. Um, but in here, I found myself a couple of interesting things. Um, the first was, of course, you've got yourself the heating element which is this gray wire here and then down in here you can see the tiny filaments they've used to solder them onto the terminals here under the connections which is ridiculous i reckon like you can see how weak they are but i checked all of them to make sure that they were all working properly and they are all indeed working correctly they're all connected um there's no loose wires or anything like that but you can see here you've got an in and an out for the actual element itself. So it runs through the entire electric blanket and you can feel it in different points here. I actually ran my fingers along the entire element to see if there were any breaks in it. Of course, if there's a break in it, then it'd be understandable why it wasn't working. Um, I didn't find any breaks in the blanket itself, which led me to think that perhaps there had been a kink in the element. And of course, if you've got a kink in the element, that creates resistance and that resistance would be received by the safety switch in this device, which would throw the safety switch, preventing it from working, the um, suicide switch, basically. Um, so I'm like, yeah, you know, it got me wondering, how would that work? And then down in here, I found myself this thin little wire here. And that thin little wire is, I believe, the safety switch for the device. So once it burns out or it's kinked, then that actually travels back to the box here and turns off the safety switch in it. So that could be the issue right there, which means that these blankets cannot be fixed. 
The only way to fix it would be to re-thread that tiny little filament of wire there and that tiny little filament of wire there, which is one wire that runs along the element through the entire system. And I'd say somewhere throughout the system or throughout this component, the, the, therm, uh, the blanket itself, that wire is either kinked or broken completely. And you could fix it by disconnecting that one and disconnecting that and unthreading it or even running another wire through the entire system. Um, perhaps another way to do it would be to disconnect the wire in there altogether and reconnect that one to that one, just solder it straight up. And perhaps that's something I could give a test to. It's not like I'm ever gonna use this blanket ever again, but it would be interesting to see if I was to solder a wire from that point to this point, whether the safety component in this would reset. Yeah, anyway, that was my investigation of these crappy electric throw blankets. And I definitely don't recommend you ever buy one. It's just a complete waste of money. Cheers.